timeline now with the World Cup coming up? What do you mean by timeline? Well, I mean, like when players are going to have to be gone. Uh, well, we've only got Sink and Tobin left. Uh, so they'll both be off within this week, right? This is it. Yeah, and then they go I'm in. Sorry. So I think Sink's gone, Nadine goes. She goes after the next thing, you have Nadine. The European players are here for another week. The Canadians and Americans are gone now. So we just go. Obviously, Alex isn't here. Jody's obviously not with us, so. Um, and obviously, Steph Catley's not here. Uh, Ao's not here. So they all be here in two weeks. But uh, all the rest are going up to the World Cup. Is it going uh, Well, there's going to be no games during the World Cup anywhere. Well, there is. We have six games with them. So, uh, what kind of adjustments <laughs> do you do now? Uh, well, we've got, got two players? amateurs. You saw two amateurs play tonight. Uh, one started the game, Taylor. Uh, you know, she's entered through pre-season and through the season. Obviously, we're trying to blood her before we play home uh, next week just to give her an opportunity to play and just to get to the pace of the game because the pace of the real game is a little bit different from uh, pre-season and stuff. So I thought she did pretty well tonight. I thought she had a good game. And, you know, playing against Chicago is not easy. They're a good side. Man. they got a lot of pace. Uh, you know, Chilopney is top-class player. Box, he's a great player. Uh, Press is a pain in the you-know-what. And she's always floating around up there. Always, always trouble too. And JJ and Nezig are, you know, like two mountains back there, so they're a really good team. Difficult to play against, especially in the conditions tonight, the wind and the field and stuff. So, uh, credits to both teams, to be honest with you, to put on a, a game like that because that is not an easy place to play. And uh, I thought that some of the quality of football both teams was good. They're a good teams. Did you guys do anything different in your setup because they got those two quick goals, and then there's a third chance? Did you guys change anything around because no. there wasn't really anything over to the. Over no, we just felt a little bit unlucky, you know what I'm saying? Three, I think three of the first, you know, two of the first three went in, and we, we stuck with it, which we've done most of the season with the three back. And uh, you know, we were against the wind, which we knew we thought we could just get one before half time, which worked out for us. And we actually had another really good chance, I think, right before half to tie it up. Um, and KK made a good save on it. Uh, but I thought if we could just keep plugging away with the wind, second half we'd have a better chance of getting in the game. And I think second half we, we had a good chance to take all three points, probably. And difficult place to come and. You know, Seattle came here last week and it was a battle too and it's a tough game and you know it is and there's a lot of set pieces, a lot of balls coming in the box, a lot of balls bouncing around and uh, you got to take care of the ball. I thought we did a pretty good job of taking care of the ball and midfield did well and back they got themselves together. They had a rough start but they settled in and they played you know, they, and, and I think they settled down really well. And having sync up front is great too because you can stick a ball in, she can hold it up and you can run off her. And I think her ability to hold the ball helped Mona and Ali get in the game, especially second half. Ali was different player second half. Mona got into the game second half. And I think a lot of it's due to just her being in there, just her presence. And, um, I think it helped us a lot second half. But we didn't change anything, to be honest. We just kept plugging along. Uh, Christine, and that goal that you, uh, you scored, Tobin was just yeah, all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, what, what was your mind while you were watching it? Um, no, I mean, Tobin, I mean, he's one of the most skilled players ever you know had the chance to play with and I just knew that once she got a yard she'd find a way to, to get it into the box and then Ali and I just did a little give and go uh, like one of your passing patterns and uh, yeah it was just beautiful find, find back in the net. So that wasn't a planned play then? No. Yes, no it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, we do that one out before the game. No I was just with Tobin you just know she's gonna somehow create a yard space for herself and just be ready for the ball. Paul, is there anything you can tell us about the extent of uh, Alex's knee contusion? No, I mean, I know nothing now. At this point, she's uh, she's left Portland and uh, she's back in Kansas preparing for the World Cup. She needs some rest and really she's just taking some rest time. Um, you know, we're going to miss, obviously, the group. Uh, you know, it'll be exciting to get the group back in July, there's no question, because we have a lot of talent. But, uh, you know, the core group, again, did well. You know, the Alleys did well, the Monas, uh, McCall, who's been like a, a silent hero almost the season so far, she's been probably the most consistent. I thought Shanae Farrell had a great game tonight in the midfield too, and it was it was a tough place to be in there, it was a battlefield in there. I mean, I was cringing some of the tackles. Now I know why I retired a long time ago, because some of those tackles tonight. Um, but all credit, I mean, honestly, you got to give both teams credit, because both teams, you know, I thought they did a good job tonight. And, you know, I respect Rory a lot as a coach, I think he knows what he's doing. And, um, you know, I think that the field doesn't help them either, it's not like the field helps them any, because they can play. I mean, Chilopney's a fantastic footballer, and, uh, Calabrigo is going to be a great footballer down the road, and uh, Di Bernardo is a great footballer. I mean, they've got some really talented girls who, who can you know, handle the ball. And I think it'd be interesting to get both these teams on a really top-class field in Portland. 
in July where they can really show what they can do because I think I think Chicago will be good on, on a good field too. I mean, a, a bigger field and a wider field. Um, but it's going to, I mean, they're a playoff team this year, Chicago, no question about it. They will be dangerous. Uh, Chris, I just want a question about the, the World Cup being in your home country. Uh, what's your feelings about that? Oh, I mean, just excited. You know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, and I. I think back to the 1999 Women's World Cup in the U.S. and it just, I thought that tournament changed soccer here and I think this tournament has the potential to do that in Canada and yeah, hopefully maybe some NWSL teams will end up in Canada in the near future, that's my, my hope. We also the Portland one, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you were talking about the field a little bit uh, on the second uh, goal against you guys was there a bobble or did it just get under was we, well, we couldn't see because we were kind of straight in we took a okay yeah we asked her half time to look weird it ended up in the middle of the goal yeah but she said it took a deflection yeah. okay. i haven't seen the goal obviously on the playing yeah the shot we had was you know a direct line it looked odd but we didn't see yeah, if there was a weird bobble or something in the middle of the net. yeah it went, it went, it went okay. underneath and then into the middle but it, i think yeah she said it took a deflection okay um I mean, the first goal was top shelf, one of the top shelf. And we talked about it, the exact scenario on the shoulder, pulling inside. Um, one thing is knowing it, the other thing is trying to stop it, and it's not easy to stop. Whether you've got three in the back or six in the back, I'm not sure you're stopping that. I mean, she's just, she's talented. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the World Cup and seeing these guys go at it in the US, Canada, and uh, Germany. And, you know, we've got a lot of top players in the world here now, and I hope we can keep bringing the players here. And, I think the more we bring, the better the level of competition we'll get. You know, hopefully. Was that you? <laughs> that likes you. <laughs> better level of competition and better minimum requirements, of course, and you know the fields will get better. And I think uh, you know there's some great talent. I mean, to, to play to a game like that on this kind of conditions, I think was, you know that crowd was pretty good crowd considering the Black Hawks are playing and the Bulls are playing and the Islanders are playing. I'm not just the Islanders, but. <laughs> The Canucks was on a baseball team. <laughs> <laughs> They're ranked four three. They are? Oh, I think. Yeah. Can but it was three nil at one point. So. Perfect. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you mean it's going to be on the tape now. That's not good.